So, it's the freaking tune in or something. Okay, let me just talk to you about this freaking Splatoon 3 expansion. Can I tell you about this Splatoon expansion? Mute this. Splatomata? Splatoon near Automata? Are you kidding me? She's like hovering around on this bot in this white copy world? Splatomata! I was losing my mind about this with my brother. Like, I don't even play these games, but like, near Splatomata is such a funny concept to me. Uh, so, Nintendo announced this, um, a roguelike thing. Now, I swear, Avery, if Yoko Taro's name pops up in this, I would laugh so much, but it's very Splatomata. She's wearing all black, just like 2B with the boots. You know, the whole white copy city thing is in there. Can you believe this? What sounds like? Then you're putting microchips in here? Excuse me? With the with the near 2B's loadout? Okay. And then it's... I just love that it's a roguelike section. How cool is that? How how rad is that? So, like, you have these little power-ups and stuff like that. Um, So totally cool. Splatomatonium. I don't, I don't go here, but like, this is cute. Good job, Nintendo. This is very cute. We'll have to see it gets depressing, because then it'll be really split time. It'll be very automata. Yeah, it doesn't really, it took you a long time to figure out a Splatoon. I kind of saw it right away, because I'm used to the shapes, like the shape language they use. You see a little girl, and she's got tentacles on her head. That's a Splatoon to me. And then the goo that you shoot at folks, that's Splatoon, obviously. But like, this is bonkers you're a huge fan of little bits of roguelike modes in existing games you're seeing right yes yes it's such a wonderful thing to like add and do i think it's so cool anyway this is wild nintendo's out of the round you know what it's not doing the goo oh because she's like an octopus i don't know much about the lore oh but also like this is that city from automata right the white one um i don't know much about the lore but i know there's like squids and there's octopi and like the squids might make the paints and i don't know what octopi do i don't know i don't know about that but anyway that was wild i love that um this is a ds game this right here this is a ds that game monkey's tail looks a little suspicious though Don't can we talk about the announcer for the nintendo directs because he is so funny he gets to do all the like in a world where stuff happens that's bad and then he's like that monkey's tail looks really suspicious doesn't it it's so funny you like that there are a lot of big numbers yeah that's cool too the damage numbers are cool i think that's how had damage numbers if i'm not mistaken yeah you got some water. Excellent, excellent. So, yes, this used to be a DS game, Ziff. They're not making new DS games. This was a DS game. It's now coming to the Switch. It's called Mario vs. It... Donkey Kong. If Mario does this... So this is like a little puzzle game. They added a multiplayer now, so you can play with other people. However um, you choose to... Which, for a puzzle game, I think is interesting. It's great if you're, like, helping somebody that may not be as experienced with video games as you, somebody younger than you, somebody who's, again, just like, Puzzle your way through. hey, it's my first it's video game or whatever. That's toys. cool. My brother was like, what? It ruins all the challenger puzzles. But like, you have to think about different scenarios where this would be useful. So. Uh, the story of this is Donkey Kong stole a lot of toys that look like Mario. And Mario has to get them back. The original Monkey Monkey Kong? Mario vs. Donkey Kong games are very different from this. They were timing focused. They had you turning on an auto-moving little Mario automaton. Oh, so they were the toys in that. Um, this seems like a proper puzzle platformer, which is very interesting. So wait, this is new then? If Mario this is does new, it's actually new and different. Now he can get across. Okay. And Monkey safely Kong. grab the key. <laughs> Thanks for that, Nat. Hello, Game by Fair. Good to see you. So this is cool. This is not like on my radar. I'm not. Y'all know my feelings about puzzles. All right. Especially the last night's Dark Souls Elden Ring puzzle. Puzzle. This is a puzzle. All right. That's a puzzle right there. It's got to have red, blue, green, and yellow. Or else it's not a damn puzzle. Version of the game. Anyway. You can play with a friend uh, in local We didn't really watch this one. My brother kind of skipped through the Prince of Persia However, stuff. He's not really a big fan of Ubisoft, so. It's up to you to recover uh, the toys. 
This is some kind of like warm up for castle? musical mayhem this in this cute. rhythm based game, adventure. Time your button press. But let's get to the highlights. To solve puzzles. Oh, Spy X Family is a video game now? That's cool. Anya Forger has a new the puzzle find the Alex No, it was a puzzle a in a different dungeon. Diary. Stuff. On it was it was a puzzle in which you had to lift up an elevator to get light to beam down to make a giant uh hittable. I hated that. It's so annoying. So you control toys and originals. You recommend looking up a little of the gameplay to see how they change them. Fascinating. Also, they were jazzy as heck. How about that? Weekdays. Yeah, I, some of y'all really like this anime. Evenings. On My brother off, told me that the little girl is psychic and the dog is more places, psychic than the girl. Like the beach or an art museum. And of course, you got the assassin and the spy. So that's how fun. You spend your time with friends and family, and what kind of photo diary will Isn't you help fun? Anya make? I heard the anime is really cute. Anya, you have it? Memories, you like this concept for Spice Family Switch game? Have seen the anime? Yeah, it's very cute, apparently. It's pretty sweet. <gasps> oh, I just want you to know I'm playing RPG this immediately returns. upon release. I don't care about Super anything Mario in the world. RPG is back I gotta play this. Graphics. So, they already Let's announced Super Mario RPG. Gameplay features. Let me turn this down a little bit. Time your button presses with action so they already announced this however there are a few new mechanics when you do a perfect guard or, or a perfect attack it splash damages everybody that's new. that's kind of sickening every successful action that's cool fill this gauge the gauge is cool too this feels very chrono trigger like the party coming together and doing multiple attacks and stuff so <laughs> experiment I miss that watching it with my brother, but like the expression on Mallow and Mario's face as they're launching like magical spells and stuff. So <laughs> Murder! <laughs> like the glee with which Prince Mallow is launching balls at people is so funny. So, have you even seen this? And you know how lit the Mario news is from the strength. Oh yeah, the Mario news. It's good stuff. The gauge is kind of turn-based ultimately couple with personas all at attacks yeah exactly to me it kind of reminded me of like i've only played chrono trigger once in chrono trigger um you can have your three characters get together and do a try attack of some sort and they're like super powerful ones so this gave me kind of try attack but yeah do you know has pecs i miss the pecs i miss Experiment Avery. different combos Mario and DK for the Switch appears to be a remake of the original Game Boy Advance game. The sequels March of the Minis with the Tiny Robots. Interesting. Thank you for that. You were thinking of me when this aired. So good. Also, you can refight all the bosses again. Also, hold on. Listen to this while I check this text message. My mom is probably checking in right now. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. But these powered up bosses aren't Okay. Okay, my mom's coming home. Set off for adventure with Mario and friends. I gum it. When I hate Super texting. Mario RPG Fingers are so dumb. Oh, great. It suggested a comma for me. It's wonderful. It's just what I need. Mean. The fact eShop. that you can go back and refight um, bosses is so cute to me because when my brother and I were watching this live, we're like, wait a second. Why is like Super Mario RPG Bowser talking to John? There was like, there was a, a little inconsistent, like, inconsistency because like you wouldn't have certain boss but you wouldn't have certain party members at some point fighting like Punchinello. Um, so we were like, whoa! Be easy. Bowser fighting Punchinello? What? Peach fighting? Um, what was his name? Boomer? <laughs> I can't remember. Set off for adventure Booster. With Mario and Booster. When Super Mario oh my RPG goodness, captions are not on. Nintendo Thank Switch. you, I will turn November those on. 17. Hit this go infernal. Good to see you, by the way. Are available now on yeah, captions? Shop. I don't even think I turned them on. Sorry about that. Um, I know some folks, my brother knows like a few YouTubers who like freaking are in love with this game. The Another Code game. Apparently it was a DS game, a DS franchise that uh, was really good and cool. Look alive. I've never heard of it We're before though. There. <sighs> it looks cool though. Look at this little art. It's a fun little uh, DS game, puzzler. Another code, two memories, returns on Nintendo Switch. Again, this is like I One love day, the range that the director now has. So receives a letter from the My father. My brother is older than me. He's about a year and a half older. Seeking answers, 
she sets off for the solitary Blood Edward Island in search of him. Blood Edward? Is that what they Once say it was? There, I would not go to that island. puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. See, this is very DS to me. The rotation of objects, very DS. Hmm. So I heard this one is cool. Thor High Heels is a big fan of this one. My brother watches a lot of him. I think like Ant Dude was big into it as well, maybe. Can you see me? I would love to just be a ghost and hang up upside down. No one shows that in video games or media. They're never showing like a ghost upside down. You're a ghost. You don't have to like adhere to gravity. You could be floating sideways. He also meets a mysterious you know. boy. You may have what played this on the DS. What Ashley in this place? Also, why call it a mysterious boy? That's a ghost. Okay, that's not a. That's not just. That's a ghost. As yeah, you could just say she meets a ghost. I can't remember Dad's face. Like. What? Who are you? Maybe you play this on the DS if interesting. Another code R journey into lost memories. And then they have a the sequel, sequel to this, to but they don't show anything of the sequel because they presume so this is like Juliet, huh? Isn't she just like play the both cutest games little cutie? to experience the full the story? Cute protagonist. Unravel both adventures. I love a buffalo check plot as well. That's great. So like I'm assuming January 19th, any other footage begin on from the Wii sequel would spoil this first one. So. Because I think she's looking for her dad, and then it's just like, who is that tall man? Oh my god, we have to talk about this. I was losing my mind. Princess Peach showtime. Okay, stop talking about that, because it's time for Princess Peach. Okay. I'm never going to shut up about this. I'm never going to shut up about this. This is god tier, okay? I just love the concept of like a stage play, and Peach is helping out with that, but then... The way Peach plays, the way Peach plays is great. This is an entirely new game. Yeah, not a remake of anything. This is like a new video game featuring Peach. One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle so Theater. So good. Princess Peach and some toads. Look at those little, to look at those little dudes then. in the background with their funny little noses. The wicked grape and the sour bunch. A wicked grape and the sour bunch. Stage. Yeah. It's now, kind of Peach's mansion, but also Kirby. Peach yeah, very Kirby. Guardian Stella to save the play. Stella. The day. Like my dog. This perfect performance has become a I terrible tragedy. I love the idea of it being a stage play. That is so Luckily, cute. Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the sour cute bunch. Information. It's very cute. Wearing a little hair bow? Are you kidding me? So cute. The but alone won't oh, always cut it though. So just a regular bow this. can't do that. So hold on a minute. Check this out. Peach is gonna change her costume. Oh, I guess it's just gonna be a blue dress, right? Yeah, it looks like it's just a blue dress. How disappointing. No, just Whoa, kidding. Peach transformed into Whoa! Peach. By transforming, she can use fantastic show-stopping. Shut the hell up, pants. Abilities. Fend off the sour bunch with sense. Ah! Anyway, that's where I started losing my mind because I was like, "Oh, I have to buy this now." Can Peach save Pants this performance Looney. and its performers? Oh, so good! And there are more they could literally have stopped right there to be like, "I'm pre-ordering this video game now." Shows to save. <sighs> Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. So good! Oh, Become Sherlock Peach. Holmes, Peach. Clues and track down who done it. And they could have stopped there, and I've been like, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very good. I appreciate it. Desserts thank you. That's all I need is two festival. costumes. Tend I would only get Chef Peach. From a sugar crash. Why are you giving me so many delicious treats, Nintendo? Become Kung Fu Peach and take it back. Kung from Fu these Peach foul also. I was screaming. So many pants. Hell yeah. Peach gets so many pants. Many this is the game where Peach wears pants. Are just I'm into the it. Curtain. The so cool, man. Set. Our leading she makes some Mario 64 cake. Finally. Do you love this? Princess and they were like, Peach, showtime. They, they stress that this is not all the powers she gets. So I'm guessing she gets even cooler powers. Now, what if she also gets the power to become a plumber and she just puts on Mario's outfit? That would be hilarious. It's its debut on Nintendo Switch, March it's 22nd. Just at me, Nintendo, Three please. Begin on Nintendo Let's Easter. strike up a conversation. Shortly after this presentation. Oh, the Sword Peach costume. Love it. 
ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。ご覧いただいたのは。Her, like, her proportions are so hilarious to me. I used to be like, I used to be like, ugh, Laura Croft should look like more like a person. And now I'm just like, this is a hoot and a half. She is literally a Barbie. Like, literally. So you can play as like Chonky Blocky, her, and also like Brat Stall, I guess. Her, her mouth is so big. It's so great. Tomb Raider 1 through 3. Her boobs always look so bad. She looks so funny. I love it. Launches on Nintendo Switch. Nick Pichu win. Here's the real announcement. Forget this. this game. Nick Pichu is going to be cute. Toot. We all know that. So that's coming out. Now you can play this game on the Switch. And I was so happy to hear、Raise、how you can play on the Switch. The I was like, ew, playing it with the sticks、jam. on the Switch? That would be annoying. Play the notes in time with the music But you're not. Best you can. You're not playing、But、it with the little control sticks. Watch this. You can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up. Gyro! And down. IR or the camera. IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are、so、funny. pretty unique. And match the controls. This is so funny. I know the person who made this game was like. Working on this forever, probably. Probably for the last year. <laughs> Sounds like me playing the Tone Zone Owl. Really? How could you say that? Local multiplayer, that's cool. That's great. I know, finally a game with the IR camera. I don't know what Battle Crush is. That looked like. War Tales, whatever. Contra, okay. Now, this one. Um, my brother used to play. This is the company is Vanillaware, and also I think Atlas coming together to make this game. Uh, this game is Unicorn Overlord, which is such a weird name for a video game. Uh, and I think the name of the world is Cornea or Corntopia or something like that. Do you know the IR camera is a thing? It is. You can actually see it right here. I use it to take my heart rate whenever I play、uh, Ring Fit. Unicorn Overlord is like so funny. Uh, but yes, I was mystified by this. I was like, what is this? Is this a tactics game? Is this a Fire Emblem game? Like, what are we, what are we looking at here? It is a strategy game. I forget. Does anybody know? My brother told me the name of this. I can't remember what the name of the game was. I want to say it was like called Dragon's Crown or something like that that Vanillaware made. He loved that game. It's made by the same folks. Yeah, does the world stands consumed? They also made 13 Sentinels, which I heard、prince. is like one of the coolest, like, turn your brain inside out games. So I was kind of watching this trailer wondering is this going to be a turn your brain kind of inside out game? <clears throat> My brother says from the look of it, probably not. It's probably going to be more like that Dragon's Crown game. Yeah, Grid Tactical Avery. Yes, we were trying to we were trying to point if it was like the Octopath devs or Vanillaware. It is Vanillaware though, which is such a funny name for a dev team. Oh yeah, that's up. We just make the most vanilla games. But look at this. Look at these little actions and stuff. That's very cute. And the、uh, the art is fantastic as well. I but I don't think you could play as a furry, which kind of downgraded the game for my brother. But I still think the characters look really cool. Look at that big woman. That was great. Can we go back and look at her? Hold on. You got a cool elf lady there wearing nothing but a, a singlet and a cape. Wait, that's Records of the Lotus War. That's Deedlet or something. That's very Deedlet coded. 
for 60 unique characters. Mm. Dragon's Crowd is a 2013 action role-playing game developed by Vanillaware. Yeah, that was the one. A lot of people don't know about it because it's so underutilized, just like how a lot of people don't know the PS4's middle pad can control a mouse pointer. Yeah, I only know... Oh, wait, there are furries in this. Hold on. From humans and elves to maybe, massive maybe. beasts and heavenly angels. Well, I should tell my brother I saw furries. first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. The food looks right. This is when my brother was like, oh, this is made by the Dragon's Crown people. Because there was also a cooking minigame in that. Also, how good does this look? This is literally just bread? I would eat that whole plate of bread right now. Maybe with some butter on it, possibly just dipping it in oil. The kiwi and melon looks good. The crisp salad looks good. And cheese-filled steak hache. Ah. Months or even years. Dragon's Crown lets you play as a unique-looking sorceress. I remember there being a very big woman in that. I'll see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. Atlas. You got the Atlas folks. Evanillaware. Rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn, Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> Such a dumb name. The name is so bad, but whatever. You know, not everything can be Fire Emblem. Uh, Luigi's Mansion Two. They talked about this in the previous directs. Um, I'm excited. I've never played a Luigi's Mansion game on stream. And my brother said for his birthday, he wants me to play Luigi's Mansion 3. And he asked me to do that several years ago. So I got to play Luigi's Mansion 3 for him. I feel like maybe I should play 1 and 2 first, though. Exactly, Cage. I'm interested as well. It looks fun. Luigi's looks Mansion 2 HD. Is this a release date announcement for the Luigi's? No, they do a full Welcome trailer. They're telling Ever if you never heard about Luigi's Mansion, you're about to hear the hell out of this Luigi's Mansion thing. Um, yeah, they, they give you all the details, but y'all know Luigi's Mansion. This one doesn't have portrait ghosts in it, which is what I liked about Luigi's Mansion one. But there's still like fun These stuff to do. You're in a scary mansion. The there's a cool dog. Love that. Can Luigi summon his they play a lot of this game. It's very silly and funny. I love that. This is my level of Looking horror, by the way. Up to <laughs> Luigi's Mansion is my level. Oh man, the crunchy load on this. Oh, I didn't even get to see. This is the second worst frame rate of a video game they showed. The worst one was. Um, Contra. Contra Ap Operation Galaga was oh. it's across different multiplayer modes. They they oh it was bad. Hello. Welcome home. Okay, dokie, Mama, love you. All right, thank you. That's Mama letting me know that she's safe and sound at home. Luigi's Mansion 2. The frame rate looked bad there. The frame rate was worse on Contra. I won't even show you that. Creeps wow. onto Nintendo Switch next summer. My mom seems to be doing all right. She's she's she looks very worried, but um, I think she's gonna be all right. The next bit of news, which I'm surprised they didn't tag here, is there's gonna be a Nintendo Museum. It is so wild that they announced that with like a 30 second pull back of the top of the museum roof. It's <laughs> like, can we, can we get to the point? Cool shipping containers, but let's, let's move on. Oh, let me show you, though. This is what the museum's going to be like. This seems like a really idea, good idea for Nintendo. Um, uh, folks love tourist attractions like this, so why not? Uh, this would be a, a real big highlight if anyone's visiting Japan who's a big Nintendo fan. There's going to be uh, like the history of Nintendo as a company, a bunch of Nintendo products, stuff like that. I'm sure they're going to have a gift shop. All that jazz. Oh, you're sending out some more job apps at the moment. Good luck with that, Alex. I'm proud of you for doing that. They're very proud of the top of the museum, aren't you? Amiibo suffer skipping that. This one, my brother was like, shut up! And then he got upset about it because it wasn't what he was expecting. But it's F-Zero! The original! Can you believe it? Or not? Or could it be something else? Game returns as a it's F099 baby. Royale. It's a battle royale. That person's 99. name was Tic Tac. Oh, it's Tic Taka. Never mind. Okay. So this is cute. I've never played a F0 game, but I, I think OK is a big fan of them. Uh, I think he tried like speed running some courses or something. Courses this is charming, isn't it? You get to see your little dudes, game. your little cars. Tear through courses in high speed races. 
I'm not a Be racing careful. game fan. Your power meter will decrease. You saw Adrian talking about this. I gotta see his reaction wins. to it because he's a big fan zero, of that. You're out. Um, I like the idea of these little like the battle royale things. Nintendo doesn't support it for very long. Unfortunately, they usually like have it up for a few months and then they're like, okay, now you're done. we're taking our toys back to our house. Some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. You were playing this. That's right. It's out today. So some is early today. It looks you pretty cool. You hope this drives enough interest in a new F Zero game. Exactly. Exactly. To up to a special path called the Skyway. Then you get this is it's wild though. You just hop on. And jumping into a higher position. That's wild. That is wild. Complete goals while you're racing to Very cute. You get little cosmetics. Machine. You know I'd have a pink car. I hate racing games though. I don't know what the- Oh, Bandletail, we skipped this one because it's League of Legends. My brother's not a big fan of League of Legends. Uh, is it two different League of Legends? Okay, we're going to go to one. Wario. Because Wario, what I love about this is it's using Let's the gyro and the IR stuff. That means a lot to me. I swear to God, though. They, I, love, I love Rhythm Heaven and things like that. The WarioWare stuff is so bad for my ADD, it legitimately makes me feel exhausted after I play the games. But I love them. I love the games. But it makes me feel exhausted. I want to play this, and then I'm like, but is my ADD going to cooperate? No amount of medication I take is going to make me, like, not stress out from this game. So stressful. Look at you, like... Yeah. Now, that would be funny to do on the show, though, don't you think? Zoom out and have these little things, get my little wireless mics on, and then go like, the show, then perform you know? The correct action. This is, like, made for streaming. Use your IR cam, peace sign. The micro games will come one after another, so look alive. Lassoing? I think I do have to get this for the show. This would be really Plus, funny. Up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Oh my god, a frog. Oh no, Medusa. Medusa. To be fair, you think uh, this Set game would temporarily give even the most neurotypical person ADD? Imposing. I think it would cause a lot of fatigue, certainly. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes of plenty. And they have all these You get to do a little butt bounce Wario as like Wario, Wario but also the moon. You would buy this for me for the cast. November 3rd this year is when it comes out. November 3rd! That's too soon! Pre-orders are available now Terrifying. on the Nintendo eShop. Next up is a game that my brother said was like the OG Heroic Kickstarter Tales game. Soon like, this unfold. is iconic in terms of Kickstarter games. Like, it's been in development for forever. It's like a sweet coding kind of deal. And but now it's coming to the Switch, so I guess that means invasion. it's out? Has anyone Meet ever played Aiden Chronicle? A humble villager. Sane, an office. One of these games that we taught you to learn uh, to learn to really zero in on the information a game is telling you, yes. Because you have, like, 15 seconds to execute the task that the game is telling you to do. Sir from the Empire. I haven't heard of this. I did Chronicles. A I, it's a um, sweet hoden like apparently. And my brother said it had, like, the biggest Kickstarter the funding ever. Like, heroes who can join hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe? Millions of this dollars? I don't know. Base, known but a bunch of money was put into this because there's a bunch of sweet hoden fans out there. Will it's called, like, Iodin Chronicles 100 Heroes because you can recruit 100 people in... Um, the sweet coding games, I think you recruit like a hundred or so folks um, to your town. There's also town building elements in sweet coding. Uh, there is different outcomes based on who you recruited. Uh, so it's really cool. You'll 108. Be able to thank you. Crops, open shops, and give me your focus on one game only. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. You encounter has their own Look at that animation. That guy leaving a little flower down at some kind of titanic grave. Not always get along at first, guy looks like a vampire. Conflicts may strengthen and that bond. person had a little creature on their shoulder. That's very cute. Heroes. Trust. Powerpuff Girls. Okay. Trail. Justice. And truth. A heroic tale I wonder how Triangle Strategy ended up. When that was fun playing the demo of it, but... On Nintendo Switch, April 23rd. That's coming next year. Oh, yeah. Participate in some pick Turn uh, let me show you this, <laughs> just for one second. Eastward is a game I gotta play because it's an Earthbound-like, but they also have a DLC that now is farming. <laughs> so that's cool. Dave the Diver is another game that I've heard so many good things about. Everyone was loving this game. And also mistaking it for an indie day. game. It is not an indie game then just because it is pixel art. It's made by Nexon. It's a huge company. But it's still cool. 
It's still rad. But it isn't an indie game. To concoct recipes it is a pixel art game. The day's menu. Uh, then but I heard this one was like so fun, like super restaurant. duper fun to play. Explore Serving your customers during the day, fishing for like ingredients at night. You're a little tired of farming sims. Day I think a lot of folks, they, they kind of took off Nintendo in 2020, October. so there's going to be a lot of them. I'm just surprised we're not seeing a lot of Vampire Survivor likes announced um, right now, considering last year's runaway success. Vampire Survivor. I'm seeing a bunch of them on Steam, in. so in a year Nintendo will catch them. Peek at wave six, the final wave of the Mario Kart this announcement made me fight DLC. with my brother. From Mario Kart Wii, Daisy Circuit. So from Mario Kart Wii, they're adding the Daisy Circuit. But my brother's like, they didn't have Daisy yet? And, and I'm like, no, they're adding the Daisy Circuit More from the Mario Kart are Wii. Also being added in wave six. And he's like, no, but they're announcing characters. Like Diddy Kong is coming to it from and Mario XYZ. Kart and I'm like, Dash, no. <laughs> So we had From to go back Mario and rewind Kong it and watch it. Funky Kong. Just to prove the point. Uh, and then there's Among Us. Can't look at Something sushi for so long without eating any. It's bad for your morale. I'll take a look at sushi. Funky Kong, who you're uh, not aggressively excited about, but you know some people really popped off about Funky Kong being added. I mean, Funky Kong's a cool guy. There's like Peachette as well, and Paulina was added and stuff like that, but like I don't play Mario Kart. I'm not a, I'm not a car person. Uh, Among Us... We don't have to see the whole trailer. But it did remind me how much fun Among Us was to play. It was really fun to play Among Us with you all in January. But clearly, I'm shocked they didn't call this Fungus Among Us. The name of this DLC is In the Fungal or something like that. Like, In the Jungle. Um... I don't know why they didn't say Fungus Among Us. You said you missed that day. We'll have to get back to it. It was super fun. It was super, super fun playing Among Us with everybody. It was fun to watch the VOD, though. Among Us is fun, but organizing people to play is really hard, yeah. On stream, I didn't have too difficult of a time. I was just like, who wants to play this with me? Here you go. Um, but I have the privilege of, you know, being a brown character. The fungal. You know how many kids now are going to misspell fungal infection? Because they're like, oh, fungal? Let me. There's going to be so many kids at the National Spelling Bee are like, fungal. <sighs> Got this. F U N G L E. <clears throat> no! But Among Us says it was spelled fungal. This new map anyway. for Among Us is free and launches this October. And they got a little recap of everything that's coming. And then they got the important thing at the end that we're going to talk about. Introducing a new map not made in Unity. Oh boy, Unity is sore now, aren't they? What a foolish, what a foolish move they've made. Ooh, I've, I'm seeing more and more companies like, okay, if you don't walk this back, we're going to take all of our games off the market. So this is all the stuff that's like out now. Out soon, that kind of deal. Oh, they said they got a demo for one of these games that I actually care about, and I totally forgot what it is. Oh, I was going to pick up my Switch and have a look at it, but it's docked right now. I think there's like a demo for one of the games that I was like, this seems interesting. I'll have to check that out soon. Oh, Super Mario RPG. So good. <clears throat> So, I mean, Nintendo, they just keep doing it right. <coughs> While we're watching this, what stuff was announced in the Sony state of play? Like, Cult of the Lamb was like, yes, get our game before January because we're deleting it, right? They're serious. Those folks at Devolver, they're for real. They're not playing around. Hollow Knight was also in Unity. This announcement literally... I didn't even need the first three seconds of music. I need one second of music and then I'm literally rocketing out of my chair. Because it's Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door remake. I knew from the second I heard that music and the second I saw that book. Losing my mind. This is such a cute little texture too. You can't see this. Hold on. Let me show you. Um, I love this little 
these like mountains in the background using like corrugated cardboard you know i'm a sucker for that look because i loved uh yoshi's crafted world this is literally a piece of cardboard in the background that has a tree stamp on it that's so cute <laughs> paper freaking mario and instead of going like tuck a tuck a tuck a tuck a tuck a tuck a tuck which they did in the original now they've got uh like Maka, maka, maka. Like everyone's voice is doing their own thing. I think it's cute. High res picture of the original cast of Paper Mario. Very cute. Very adorable. Look at the glossy wooden floors. I'm loving it. Super Mario Mario fans revived from their graves. Yeah. Hopped up on Hopium. The thing that I love about this is maybe if a lot of people enjoy this, they'll make another game in the style of this. Not another Paper Mario, which they've done a ton of. But maybe another turn-based combat Paper Mario, which they haven't done. Have we got to play any Paper Mario? You should check this one out. It's one of my favorite games of all time. So the lighting is great. The textures are great. I mean, it's it's Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door. It's going to be a good game. Glitzville is back. Look at this. Fresh juice. Hey, press the L now. Sure, why not? Miss Flurry, Cooper, doing his thing. Little Gonzalez Jr. Or whatever you choose to name him because you can just name this Yoshi whenever you want. This part, this is wild. Because in the original, it was just what started was the characters entered the scene. The scene was already set. But in this... They have, like, the paper folding in. I just love the high-quality reflections on the wood of the stage. That's cute! I love that! And they also have a little sound system in the corners. I, that was not there in the original, I can guarantee you. Very cute. So, back to classic turn-based battles. So cute. It's super fun. It's a parry. So good. I actually just recently watched a long play, no commentary of this, that was, like, 18 hours long. <laughs> So I remember everything about the story, and I was, like, choking up at parts of it, because I was like, ah, I want a good story. Um, but, uh, I would play this again. Oh, it's so good. You have a feeling that at the end of this year, and all of next will be a Nintendo stream? <sighs> no comment. Hello, Shadow! How are you? Kept you waiting, huh? Welcome on in. We're going over some of the announcements from the Nintendo Direct. At first, I was like, I was saying, like, oh, I watch it with my brother. I won't really watch it with you all because I've already seen it. But then I was like, I want to tell them about stuff. And for those folks who didn't watch it, I need them to see what we're doing. So turn my old computer on. Got it going. How is GeoGuessr? Are you good at that? I would be so terrible at that. I'm, like, so poorly aware of my surroundings at all times. So, so terrible about that. But uh, I hope you're having fun. Welcome in, folks. I'm Tina. I'm going to be playing Pikmin 4 soon, but I thought we'd go over the Nintendo Direct. Did you all have any exciting announcements? You're okay at it, but you love learning why you're wrong. Oh, yeah. Like, the little keys that are like, oh, if the sun is in the sky, or if you see these mountains, or if you see this ocean, or all that stuff. Like, in Argentina, they have certain light posts or, like, traffic lights or whatever. So cool. I think that's wild. How about freaking Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door? Ugh. So good. <sighs> Koopy Koo getting upset. This town was so dope. Twilight Town. Oh boy, I think I rerun too far. The Peach Game? Peaching, peach wearing pants? Are you kidding me? Peach putting on, putting on pants to go fight? Heck yeah, that's all I need. They did not need to show the other powers because I do not care. I'm just going to be peach wearing pants. <gasps> oh my gosh, let me snooze this ad break. And I also pause the game at the right time. Pause this feed. Okay, this is Twilight Town. Where if a bell rings, people turn into pigs. Happens to somebody right in front of your eyes. The pigs were like... <coughs> I'm kind of sad that they turned the pigs into origami pigs. Because the pigs in the original were so out of place, it was like somebody dropped an asset from a different video game into it. It was so funny. It was like perfect 3D renders with shading and stuff of pigs. But they were, they look like little piggy bank pigs like they do here. So funny. Oh. 
Ms. Mouse, love her. A murder? A murder happening on the express? It wasn't a murder. It was a mystery. This dude? He's great. To steal your form and everything. Um, such a great video game. Look at the lighting on Hooktail there. So good. Can you see the OG pigs? It's so funny. <laughs> it looks like it's the quality of creature that, like, Polar Strut is. That little bear strut, that e emote. It's that. It looks like that. They're, like, so weirdly out of place. Um, that's your door remake is awesome, right? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth CE is available for pre-order, and it looks good. Oh, the collector's edition? $400. Wow. What comes with the collector's edition? That's your door is Marissa's number one favorite game, right? Oh, Marissa's got good taste. Hi, Will. Good to see you. See, add Polar Strut. I have it. Oh, it's Free Bear. It's Free Bear. We have it as Free Bear here. But I guess it's Polar Strut as everywhere else. Um, that's literally the quality of Pig from Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Let me just see if I can find it. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Um, Pig Sprite. Oh my god, here it is. Yes. It's under the Mario Wiki under Pig. It's so funny. Let me open this image in the new tab just so I can show you. Here's the pig. They're just like <laughs> weird low poly 3D renders of pigs. Enjoy your dinner, Shadow. Thank you so much for being here. I will enjoy some Pikmin. I hope everybody who came from Shadow's Dream enjoys their time here as well. It's so funny. These pigs, are they're so like incongruous in their surroundings, which I love so much. And then the big gag is that and they're not adding anything new so far as I can tell. I think this is a straight remake, but just like polished up and stuff. Um, but of course, who can forget tech? Tech's relationship with Peach. So interesting. Heartbreaking, honestly. The pig needs to be an emo. I don't even know. I don't know how, if the pig does a strut like that. Anyhow, that's going to 2024. What is the rest of this? That was just like the ending of stuff. Okay. So that was the Nintendo Direct. I felt like it was super jam-packed with cool stuff. Su such cool reveals, honestly. Who would have thought a Thousand Year Door remake? For real? Who would have thought? And I love getting news about um, uh, the new Peach game. I think it's like, what is it? Oh, it's called uh, Princess Peach Showtime. So cool. The pig can just vibe. Okay, so it would just be a stationary emote of the pig. Let me plug in my Switch. Let's see here. Here we go. Perfect. Hopefully that'll work.